yeah, I thought uh, we did a nice job tonight taking care of business. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, uh, we did some really good things tonight. Uh, I thought Florida State served really tough. They had a couple servers that were really giving us fits that we didn't see on video that we didn't prepare for. So but we made adjustments on that. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a really solid team, and I thought uh, we made enough runs and played well enough in spurts to break all three games open and, and win 3-0. So good, good, job on, good job by the Huskers on that. I think mentally I've come a long way. I think initially whenever I was starting, I um, came in a little bit more tentative. And I feel like as the season went on, I kept working hard. But um, things changed, obviously, and I worked through it. And I kind of developed a mindset where, like, I wasn't going to worry about anything. I was just going to go for it with full confidence. And I think it really helped me out. So. What <laughs> Um, I think I'm really long, so it helps, and I just go for high hands, and I see it, and it's really high, so I can see the hands really well, and yeah, so. Coach, you took you guys quite a few set points to close out the first three steps. What was the struggle with getting to those off? Well, they hit a couple really good serves, and um, they, uh, you know, we had our opportunities, and they, they made some plays. I mean, you get to this point, you know, it's you, you got to find a way to finish, and you know they played well at the end of those games and made us earn it. So it's a good thing we had a little bit of cushion, but uh, um, it's just part of the game, you know. It's 25 points. Well, we're playing a team that we're more accustomed to playing size-wise, athletically, and uh, whereas yesterday was. It's just, it's just, that's hard for us to play against that. So, um, you know, it'd be like you doing the news tonight, but then you got to go back to the student news at high school. That's, you know, and to try to do it. So, but anyway, it's, uh, this is more, we were more used to this. This is what we train against. And uh, um, so it was, I thought that was better volleyball tonight. Well, we have to be balanced. So, um, Nicklin did a really good job of, of uh, getting everybody involved tonight. And uh, I mean, Ali could have had a lot more sets, but she wasn't in the front. I mean, some of those games, I think she only got through there one or two times. So, she wasn't up there that much. Um, so, uh, but I thought set got, you know, the middle, and Krause got a lot of swings. So, it's good. And Nicklin got three kills. So, that's her goal is to kill a game. <laughs> Um, yeah, I thought it was good tonight. Um, we had some plan going into the game. Um, just set some red zone and quick and up the gut, and I thought we executed that, and then it kind of opened it up for Ali and Maddie in some situations. Um, and then it kind of developed as the game went on, and we were finding those kills, especially in trains, um, where we tend to struggle a little bit more. But overall, I'm proud of how the offense uh, performed tonight. So if you're running a lot out there, you know, I think. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but you should. I think our passing broke down a little bit in game two, and then we passed better in game three. But they had that's some really good servers. Yeah. That they were they're different than what we've seen this year. And we could we couldn't I didn't pick it up last night or on video, we couldn't pick it up. Otherwise we could have prepped it. But what were they doing differently or just they were ser like serving a ball that was just coming over and like really dropping off. So we call that a yo yo. And we just had didn't see that. There's a lot of movement on them. Yeah. And then they would serve over the stat, like over their blockers. So it's really challenging for our passers to be able to see um, where the ball is coming from. Yeah. I mean, she gets up. I remember I set her a C and she just bounced it. Um, she sees the block really well. And so. Um, she makes my job really easy, and I thought she did a great job tonight.
Yeah, that one play Nicklin talked about, that was an ESPN highlight. <laughs> that was a great play. Uh, I think there's always a focus on setting the middles uh, um, as much as we can, um, especially after set two. You say set three, we got them. Um, set two, we didn't get them as many balls, especially in trans. Um, so that was a focus of mine. And then our offense just overall flows a lot better when we can get them the ball because then it opens up. Lindsay, it opens up um, the outsides and the back row. So it's always a, a goal, but I thought they did a great job um, of managing too, even when the set wasn't there. Yeah, uh, we were actually like we ran in, we were cheering, we we're like, oh, we we're doing a little cheering, saying good game, and we we're like, hey, we, I mean, we could do the uh, run around thing because it's been because last year we we didn't get to do it, so it was kind of a spur of the moment thing, um, and it's always just kind of us giving back uh, to the, the to the fans, you know, they support us through everything through this long season, and they've been there so. Even though our trainer probably had a little freak out that we were high five and everyone, we all washed our hands and hand sanitizer. So, but uh, it's always really cool to be able to connect with them a little bit at the end of the season. Yeah, they're not surprised. We actually in the office pool. We don't bet. We just have an office pool because it's against the NCAA rules to bet. Um, so we do pretend betting. Uh, we had Illinois beat Kentucky, and uh, you know Michigan lost. Here. I don't know who else is what they've done today. Purdue won, so I know that. I don't know what anybody else has done to that tonight. So, uh, but Big Ten was tough this year, really tough. And um, you know, everybody talked about the ACC, how tough. The ACC was this year. They got these seeds, and um, so we took care of business against Florida State. How does that help with preparation? I mean, I guess the team that you've beaten has already been Well, it'll be a little bit. It will be a little bit easier to prepare for them. But uh, I saw them doing some things today that we'll, we haven't seen before. So we'll have to. Uh, we'll always prepare really hard and well. Uh, but it's going to be a great match. You know, they. It's a big win for them. They're going to be they're going to be feeling it. You know, when we talk to those guys. They got to make a difference: passing, dig, digging, and serving. You know, and that's when they're coming just through the back row three times. Just like Allie goes to the front row, she's got to block and hit. So. Those guys really embrace it. And we talked before the match that the, the Legion of Boom would have to really make have be a difference maker tonight. And I thought I thought they were great. I mean, I don't know how many digs do we have? It's a, 71 digs in three games. I mean, they they could they had a hard time killing the ball on us. Pretty much all their did they had like two or three clean kills and everything else was the hit off our block. So um, yeah, they didn't have many kills. Yeah, that was cool. I mean, I've never done that, so it was super fun just to see everyone and kind of interact with them, so it was cool. Yeah, our fans are great. I mean, 8,000 a night, it's, we're, we're very lucky to have this fan support, and, you know, our, our, they do a great job, and I don't know, it's just, it's, it's pretty cool. I, you know, we never take it for granted. And uh, our fans need to know that they're a huge difference maker, and I'm sure a lot of them will be going to Texas and Final Four. And but we really appreciate them, and, the, and these players really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.